friends coming to you today to share with you a little DIY project now this is gonna be my only video this week if you are currently following me you'll know where I'm at if some of you know that I am evolving my kitchen into farmhouse and I came across this little DIY clock off of eBay now it says it come from China and I was expecting it to be like three weeks to get here or something like that but it only took 11 days I ordered it on July 15th and it came just a few days ago well let me show you what it looks like it's gonna take a little prep now the box was just totally mash I mean I had to really fold it to even get it to, to go right but along with my farmhouse decor uh, this what this is is a windmill clock and here's kind of a close-up of what it looks like now I checked the product information and it's showing that this windmill clock is 18 inches wide so that's a pretty big size clock for me to have paid seven dollars and 79 cents now the only drawback to this is the fact that it was canary yellow now i'm not going to keep it canary yellow here's what i got in the package this is kind of the the center part of it and the center part is silver there's the clock mechanism and it came with hands and a battery and another little i don't know that's the hanger thing for the back but what i'm going to have to do is take these i don't know what they're called the blades of a windmill and i'm gonna have to spray because i certainly don't want it bright yellow now what i did is i went to walmart and i bought this aluminum spray paint i paid five dollars for this can so the whole project the whole clock is going to cost me right at twelve dollars you would have a hard time finding at this time a windmill farmhouse clock for twelve dollars especially this big so i'm really curious to see how it turns out so what i need to do now is just i'm going to go outside and i'm going to spray paint all these parts everything that you see yellow i'm going to spray paint i'm going to probably kind of tape off i might not spray paint the back so much but definitely around the sides just so that the bright yellow doesn't show and I may just end up spray painting over this already metal piece and then after that you pretty much just snap on the blades and there it is and the little clock hands okay, so I'm out here outside I got both sides spray painted I'm gonna let it dry for at least an hour this paint dries really quick on plastic but I was just gonna show you again what I got rust control spray enamel and the color is aluminum, $4.97. I've got plenty of paint left. I'm gonna assemble it, and then I'll look and see if there's any yellow showing anywhere. And I also taped, put a little t piece of tape on the nail or the little mechanism that does the clock because I didn't want that to mess that up. So we'll see, pretty quick and easy project. All right, it dried enough for me to go ahead and get it all snapped in there. I looked at my directions, even though it was in Chinese and I was able to figure it out, pretty simple. I didn't spray paint my hanger because no one will even see that. So now what I need to do is put my little hands on there. It shows me how to do it in my directions. You put the small hand, the large hand, and then a little pin that goes in there. So, so far so good. I'm gonna finish it up and hang on the wall and show you my finished windmill clock friends the lighting is not great but this is my back entry hall going into my kitchen and I just want you to look at my clock I absolutely love it for $12 I can't believe it I'm gonna put the link below I don't know if the man has any more but I paid $7.79 plus a $5 can of spray paint and I absolutely love my windmill clock looks so cute in a farmhouse kitchen so hope you try it let me know if you get one thanks for watching bye bye